the lunatic is on the grass. The lunatic is on the grass. Remember. I'm going to show you two separate videos of what was flying around my neighborhood at 11.20 p.m. to 12.05 a.m. on the night of Thursday, August 30th. Now, these videos were taken by myself and another person in the neighborhood. <coughs> Excuse me. I was in bed last, that night at around 11 p.m. watching a movie on my iPad when I started hearing this noise outside. I'm used to the sound of planes and helicopters because I live in the glide path of the local airport, but this was different. It sounded more like a big remote control toy plane or a helicopter, but it was definitely louder than those big toy re remote control planes. Now I went out on my patio and watched it flying around and making very small tight circles around a dozen homes in my area. I got a really good look at it with uh, binoculars. It definitely was an unmanned aerial vehicle or a drone. It appeared to have a double set of rotors and the compartment where the pilot or the cockpit would have been was completely blacked out. It was about 10 to 15 feet in length and it was flying at an altitude of about 150 to 200 feet. I did take a video of the drone and I'll show it to you in a minute here, but the only thing you can make out for sure is the noise it was making and the running lights. It was too dark and the video on my phone doesn't have um, a, what do you call it, a zoom feature. Okay, here's the first video. And like I said, I apologize for the quality. It's not very good, but I want you to just listen to the sound it's making. It sounds like a combination of a plane and a helicopter, but there's definitely, you can tell it's running on an electric motor. After about 15 minutes of this persistent surveillance and whining noise, I called APD to find out what was going on in the area. This is how that conversation went. I called APD dispatch and told the dispatcher where I was calling from and told him there was this thing flying around my house. It woke everybody up, the animals are going crazy, and I asked him what was going on. <coughs> dispatcher tells me he doesn't know. My response, you don't know? You're dispatched. Can you tell me if they have a police helicopter in the area? No, ma'am, I can't. You can't? No, ma'am, but I'm sure they are conducting a necessary function. This is what got my attention. So I asked him, I said, what do you mean by necessary? Do you think I have a right to know what kind of necessary function woke everyone in the house up at 11.30 p.m. and has all the animals going crazy and has the neighbors in the street watching this thing flying around and buzzing our homes? At this point, I asked the dispatcher, well, can you give me the name and telephone number of somebody who can? tell me what is going on in this area. He said, no ma'am, I can't do that. So I thanked him very much, hung up, and I was so annoyed that I called the sheriff's department. Now the sheriff's department was very helpful. The dispatcher there actually said she was not aware of any operations maneuvers or, or any type of like crime situation in the area, but she did ask me to hold on and she contacted a supervisor. She gets back on the phone, she tells me, no, the supervisor doesn't have any information. She says, but hold on a second, let me have my supervisor call APD. She gets back on the phone and <laughs> APD told her that it was basically none of the sheriff's department's business. They would not share any operational information that they had going on in the area, which I found to be very unusual since I thought law enforcement was supposed to work together and that they're not completely compartmentalized. So I just want to remind you guys again, this is what was going on for almost an hour over my neighborhood and nobody in the police department would 
give me any type of explanation as to any maneuvers, operation, or crime situation they had in the area. And you would think police being public safety, if there was a crime situation or a dangerous situation, that they would at least inform the public so the public could take necessary action, whatever that may be, making sure all your doors are locked, your windows are locked, your garage is closed, whatever. But no, nothing. Not one word. The sheriff's office told me how I should handle the, the situation, so I called APD back said I wanted to speak to a dispatch supervisor, which they would not put me on the phone with. I told the dispatcher, he gave me his number, I said, look, this thing is flying below FAA regulations. I'm filing an incident report with the FAA. You're conducting maneuvers in the middle of the night over a residential area. I want your field sergeant sergeant to give me a call back. He took my name and information, and of course the field field sergeant did not call me back. But the point I want to make is after I made that statement, he put me on hold, got back on the phone to get the rest of my information, which I wouldn't give him, and it was like somebody flipped a switch. As soon as I mentioned a report to the FAA violating flight regulations, it was like somebody flipped a switch and the noise was gone. They obviously landed that thing and just took it off somewhere. So I urge everybody um, in the area, no matter where you are, if you see these things flying over a residential area and they are being flown low, contact the authorities. Try and get information as to what in the heck they're doing. Because aside from violating our civil rights and our rights to privacy, they're also violating FAA safety. Thank you for watching and please share this video. Are you still sleeping? Are you awake yet? 